Ed. Oh, I'm catching them all in the bag. Then what's this? Most of them, anyway. Didn't your parents tell you the kitchen was for eating? Yeah, they also told me the bedroom was for sleeping, so I stopped listening to them. And Mike, brought to you by Ivory, the soap without a lot of extra ingredients. For a pure, natural kind of clean, lather up with Ivory. the black skillet. You can't cook Cajun without the black skillet. The cabinet by the stove? It's not there. I looked. Want to bet? I'm not allowed to bet. My wife won't let me. She doesn't mind your betting. She minds you're losing. What's the difference? In gambling? None. The black skillet. Now, how did it get over there? You probably waited until we were fast asleep and then... You know what I'm going to cook tonight? What? Cajun popcorn with sherry wine sauce, egg and dried shrimp gumbo, roasted quail stuffed with crawfish. Mm. Honey, I just had breakfast. A tea is not breakfast. I don't feel great this morning. What is it? Probably nothing serious. You don't feel warm. A little bug or something. You just don't want to see Gil and Dee Dee. But I can't cancel. I didn't ask you to. When Gil became an investor, he made me promise to make him a home-cooked meal. That's it. Had to be our home. <sighs> you just don't like it when Gil starts in on what his little geniuses are going to be when they grow up. Were Gil and Dee Dee always so boring? Before they had kids, they were worse. They talked about themselves. Oh, you know what I'm going to make? Maybe I'll make coconut beer shrimp with sweet and tangy sauce. Red beans and rice with ham hocks. Ham hocks never go over big. I got a column for you. How does being stepped on in an overcrowded train affect your day? Makes me want to drive to work. Makes me want to stay home. So, what's with you? You look pale. I do. We'll get some sun this weekend. We're going to a barbecue. Shay, what's wrong? Nothing, really. How long have we known each other? I'm a little under the weather. What kind of weather? I'm a few weeks late. And what are you doing about it, besides worrying? Nora, I've got a column that goes to press tomorrow. Mention that word. Pregnancy? Lunch. Shay, this is important. I know, but if I test positive, I'm just going to have to go to Dr. Koopman and get tested all over again. Now, who's got time for that? My father used to say, time is like money. When you don't have it, you make it. Nora, don't. I'll buy a pregnancy test, I promise. Dr. Cooperman, please. Jackie Shea. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Jackie Shea. I have an 11 o'clock appointment. I didn't know you went to Dr. Cooperman. Yeah. I just graduated from Northwestern, and I majored in journalism. If you would have any kind of an opening, anything at all. I'm good. I always start my stories out with, 
who, what, where, when, why, and how. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, what is the purpose of your visit today? A uh, pregnancy test. Oh, pregnancy test. Uh, when will I know the results of that? I oh, will call you tonight. Great. And if you are pregnant, I'll give you my resume the next time you come in. Oh, I'm not pregnant. I couldn't be. I mean, I could be, but I'm not. A lot of people who come in here say that. What are you doing here? I work here. I thought you were taking the rest of the day off. Me? No, I don't do things like that. Shay, are you feeling sick? I am fine. No, you're not. Then what is it with you women? You've got so many secrets. No, we don't. I do. She doesn't. Well, some guy who's been calling all morning and won't leave his name is on three. Now, that sounds like a secret. I'm going to take this call in my office. Hello. Hello, is this Jackie Shea? Speaking. This is Matthew Pearson. Uh-huh. And I'm Cleopatra. Look, you can't afford not to believe me. Is this a joke? Did Rick Scatty put you up to this? No, this is not a joke. After 14 years of being on the run, I'm ready to come out and talk. Why did you choose me? I'll explain it when we meet. Be at the laundromat at Schiller and Wells at 4.15. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sending your friends to pick me up. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about that. We fugitives, we can't be too careful. So your henchman told me. Listen, once you, once you get to know me, you'll see that's, that's not the way I do things. Why should I do that? Because a lot of people are curious about where I've been for the last 14 years. And publishers would kill for my story. You offering me an exclusive? That's right. I'll tell you everything. My life in the underground, the uh, false identities, the uh, cross-country trips, playing tag with the FBI, you name it, it's yours. What do you want in return? I get to find out if now's the right time to turn myself in. How are you going to decide that? Well, if you write a column about me, I think it'll get a response, which might indicate how a, how a jury might lean. Maybe. Well, to begin with, I don't like being blindfolded. Listen, I'm sorry, but until I'm sure that you're not going to betray me, I've got to cover my tracks. Until you're sure I'm not going to betray you, we've got nothing to talk about. Now, could you have the safer driver of your two friends take me back to my car, please? Where did 
you get this beautiful china? Oh, uh, that belonged to my grandmother. All our relatives are still living. Gil! Dee Dee! Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. It's okay, we understand. You probably have important things to do besides entertain us. Don't be silly, hi. 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 You look great, hi. Hey, thank I'm you. Pretty hey, thank you. But wait till you see our kids. Honey. Oh, we brought pictures of Justin and Abigail to show you. <laughs> you won't there believe how big they've gotten. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They're looking more yeah. like us all the They're time, don't you think? Hey, Jack, how you doing? Yes, sweetheart. You okay? Yeah. Huh? So, guys. I haven't seen you in the restaurant lately. What gives, huh? Well, we've been pretty busy, Mike. You know, I tell Gil that he should get out of the restaurant business and invest in something more fun. Maybe a racehorse. Yeah, when they die, you write them off. <laughs> <laughs> we originally invested in Mike as a tax shelter. We had no idea the restaurant was going to be so successful. And wasn't that just our luck? Or Mike's skill. Who knows? Would you excuse me just for one minute? I'll be right back. <laughs> Please don't. Wait until what? after dinner. Otherwise, we'll be eating leftovers for a week. Oh, I can't wait to tell you who I met today. Do you remember Matthew Pearson? Who doesn't? I went to a rally he led in 68. He's offering me a story. Are you serious? Yeah, but it's on the QT. You can't tell anybody, okay? I promise. Do you want to get oh. the, uh... Hey, Mike, have you got a slide projector? I sure do. Our slides of the kids are even better than our snapshots. After dinner, we get a slide show. I'd rather look at their kids than their scuba diving trip. You are not going to believe this meal. Have you had Cajun food? I hope it's not too spicy. Yeah, or hard to digest, Mike. I... Well, tonight it's black and fish. You heat up the skillet for two hours until it's 700 degrees, then you throw in the fish and black it on both sides for one and a half minutes. A meal that you're supposed to burn? Mm hmm Gil, we should get your mother a Cajun cookbook for her birthday. Hello? Yeah. Thank you. Who was that? Dr. Cooperman. Was he helping you with a column or something? May well become a column. Or two, or three. Oh, that's great. I'm not so sure. Maybe you should sit down. Jackie, I can't sit down while I'm cooking. I think you're going to want to sit for this one. Boy, your timing is rotten because the skillet is ready. Now, what is it? I'm pregnant. the name Adam. I love the name Adam. But we have a while before we have to decide on a name. Sleep well. I feel really good about this. Do you feel really good about this? I feel good. But I feel very tired. Can we talk about this in the morning? Yeah, I've always wanted a big family, like mine. You know, lots of kids around the table at holidays. Let's have one at a time, shall we? Twins don't run in my family. Do twins run in your family? Mike. I'll still be pregnant in the morning. Can we talk about it then? There's so much I want to teach this kid. I want to take him to the Newport Jazz Festival, Disneyland, and Wrigley Field. I'm still waiting for you to take me to Wrigley Field. Every time I get tickets, you can't go. A little advance notice wouldn't hurt. I'll take you. I will. Promises. Promises. Oh, this is going to be the most terrific kid. With the most terrific father and mother. Good night, Mike. I'm gonna have to learn how to cook baby food. You wanna take a walk? I need some air. I thought you were just dying to buy me a drink. Matthew Pearson called me yesterday. 
The Matthew Pearson? Yep. He wants to give me a story. <sighs> do you realize what this could do for circulation? Syndication everywhere. And uh, what about you? Would he let you do a book? Well, I put out a feeler to a friend of mine, a tenant in Fenster. And she said if I could get Pearson, they would outbid anybody. That's sensational. I don't know. He sent some friends to pick me up yesterday, and when I got in the car, they put a blindfold on me. Now, I told Pearson I wasn't going to put up with that kind of stuff. You think he's dangerous? Well, I certainly didn't used to. He always seemed to be the sanest of the radicals. I'm not sure bombing that armored car was too sane. Yeah, but don't you remember he claimed he wasn't there? And you believed it? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I did too, at the time. You tell me when and where you're going to meet him, and check with me when you get back. I'm going right now to meet him on a friend's boat. Oh, braggart. If I'm not back in the Monroe Street Marina by, say, 6 o'clock... Don't tell Mike somebody better came along. Very funny. Brighten up. This is a big one. Oh, it's not Pearson. It's morning sickness. You mean you're... I'm, uh... That's wonderful. Hey, yeah, we're real happy about it. And a little overwhelmed. I didn't see that. You didn't have to. Mike, I need to get some more time cards. Okay. Well, you shouldn't have a cash flow problem. Especially if you don't anticipate any major changes this calendar year. None that I can think of. Good. Except we're having a baby. You're what? We're having a baby. Let me get you a Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Are you excited? Thank you. Okay, but that's not so wonderful. Excuse me? Do uh, you know what it means to have a baby? Oh, my mother explained it when I was six, but refresh me. Little footsteps mean bigger bills. We're talking larger house, live-in help, pediatricians. Jerry, we both work. We can afford it. Till all hours of the night. But I guess that'll change. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. What will change? Well, you can't be much of a father if you're never home. And where do you have to trade your sports car in for a uh -huh. station wagon? I won't mind that. Yes, you will. You know, and sharing Jackie's not going to be as easy as you think either. And you're going to have to cut down on your traveling. God, do I miss traveling. Jerry, I thought you loved being a father. I do. There's nothing more satisfying. Well, there's nothing more demanding either. Guys, I am going to be a great father. You have nine months to convince us. And a lifetime to convince him. <laughs> <laughs> that a new nation was being born, that the uh, revolution was coming. I remember. What happened? The war ended. Ideology was out. Stalin was a... Uh... What did you miss most? Voting. Isn't that what you'd expect to hear from someone who's supposed to want to overthrow the government, huh? No. You. you write what you want. People will respond, and then I'll decide if it's the right time for me to come forward. But I do have to face the possibility of a conviction. And I've got very serious financial pressures on me, so I'm going to need an advance from the publisher before I'm arrested. An advance? That could take weeks. You say you're innocent of the conspiracy charge? Jackie, all that I conspired to do was make America think. I rallied campuses. I made people in high places uneasy, and they charged me with conspiracy. Huh? That's a felony. You're wanted for blowing up an armored car. I didn't do it. I got no evidence that I did. This way. Carol, the face is off tonight. You want to put that in the corner, please? We've got to get a drink order the minute they sit down. Okay. Menu in hand within two minutes. Okay. And if that water glass is ever less than half empty... Half full, Mike. That is it. We have lost... Them. Okay, I'll pass on the word. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Thank you. Hi. How you feeling? Uh, fine. I had the best day. Remember those teach-ins Pearson used to give in college? Yeah, yeah. Come on, sit down. I felt like I was at one. Uh-huh. Talking about all those things that seemed so possible then. It was really wonderful. You want some crackers or something? No, thanks, sweetie. I'm sure. fine. I think this column is going to get a lot of coverage, but I don't want anybody to know about it until it's the street tomorrow, okay? I can keep a secret. Jackie! Oh, congratulations! I hope it's a girl. 
No, look, no, I'm telling thing. you. You never tell anyone this early. Why not? Bad luck. Let the machine get it. It could be something important. This isn't important. This is very important, but it'll wait till after a Hi, phone call. Hi, this is call. Jackie. This is Mike. We're busy right now. Real busy right now, but leave a message. We'll get back to you. Bye. Bye. I need to see you. It's urgent. I'm here. I'll meet you right away at the designated spot. The designated spot. There's a chance that the phones may be tapped. So we've set a place to meet in case of emergencies. Yeah, I think we need a little time for ourselves here, Jack. Honey, I know we do. We'll talk later, okay? I'll be back in an hour. It's 10.35. I know what time it is. I don't want you running around this time of night. Why not? Because I'm pregnant? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Would you see the guy tomorrow, please? This could be the most important story of my life. Jackie, you're having a baby. I'm not having it tonight. Jack and Mike will be back in a moment. I read tomorrow's column. I really liked it. Look, I, uh... I need the advance from the publisher immediately. Why the rush? When I was in the underground, I, I got married, and... Last year, my wife died. I'm sorry. But I've got a son. Running from the law has always been hard on him. Without his mom, it's been even harder. What do you want me to do, Matthew? First of all, I want you to meet him, okay? Wait a second. Eric? I want you to find my wife's family. When I turn myself in, I'm gonna need somebody to take care of Eric. That's why I need the advance from the publisher to set up a trust fund for him so they won't be burdened. How am I to get in touch with them? Well, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fogarty resented the life that I gave Beth, so, uh, so her sister Kate might be the best bet. Maybe I can find your sister-in-law with my column. I'll write it tonight. It'll run day after tomorrow. And then if all goes well, I'll, I'll turn myself in the next day. Will you help me organize a press conference? I'd love to. Hey, it's way past your bedtime. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night, Eric. Good night. Thanks again. Good night. Oh, uh, I hope your husband didn't mind you coming out so late. Guess I'll find out. Good night. Honey, I'm going to add you to the list. Here. I can't. I know you're angry that I ran out last night. But I am not going to turn my back on a story like this. I never have, and I never will. So are you saying that now is not a good time to have a kid? I'm saying there's a lot we haven't talked about in terms of what this is all going to mean. Let me ask you something. Are you thinking of staying home? Why, are you? Me? Yeah, you think that's a crazy question? Marriage is 50-50. Why isn't having a child when both parents work? It is. Okay. 
You know, uh, running a restaurant, you have to be there. It's not like being a writer. All right. You tell me. You gonna get up in the middle of the night and feed the kid? You gonna stay home from work when it's sick? How's your life gonna change? Have you thought about that? Of course I have. I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited, too. But I think that we have to ask ourselves some questions about how this is all going to work. Because if we don't give it a lot more thought, we could be pretty miserable later on. That wouldn't be very good for the kid, would it? Wouldn't be very good for us, either. is going to do to my column. Probably make it more difficult to write. But you're coordinated. You'll learn to write with one hand and burp the baby with you. Nora. Well, what else do you want me to say? I want you to tell me that even if I can't put out four columns a week, I can continue writing my column. Maybe you'll have to cut back. In the beginning, maybe you'll have to write at home. But you certainly won't have to give up being a columnist. But I'll have to give up being the kind of columnist I am, going places and meeting people. Maybe, for a while. I don't want to give anything up. Oh. My generation didn't have the option to postpone. We got out of school, we got married, we had kids, we had careers, we got divorced. Unlike my marriage, Mike knew what he was getting when he got you. And if you have this baby, you'll know what you're getting. I just hope now is the right time for this. I was 22 when I had my first. But whether it's that age or your age, there isn't any right time. But that doesn't make it wrong. It must be so difficult in the beginning. No, it's always difficult. But of all the things I've ever done in my life, there's nothing in the world that compares to it. Decided to come home, huh? I usually do at the end of a day. We had theater tickets tonight. You were supposed to call me to tell me when we were going to meet up, remember? Did you lose my phone number? I don't want to fight with you. You didn't want to go to the theater, either. No. Neither did I. I gave the tickets to Carol. I should have called you. I'm sorry. I guess I needed to be alone. Today, thinking about how having a child is going to change things. I'm worried about what kind of mother I'm going to make and what our life will be like. If you don't want to have this baby... I do. I've just been scared, wondering how we were going to manage. I've been thinking about what you said. Yep. I'm gonna miss going out whenever we feel like it. And I'm gonna miss our privacy. <sighs> Playing catch with a kid is one thing, but taking care of him 24 hours a day is quite another. I'm scared too, Jack. We'll both be a little less scared. Will you promise me that you won't be scared? 
promise me we'll make terrific parents? I promise. And have I ever broken a promise, huh? Remember last year I complained about how this party was crawling with kids? Uh-huh. You can be happy, right? I don't want to talk to anybody that's not on training wheels. <laughs> I'm Jackie. Hey. hey. Oh, it's good to see you. I loved your piece on Matthew Pearson. Thanks. You need a hand? Yeah, no, let me nice. take her. Let me take her. I'm great with kids. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Can I have some ice cream? Oh, come oh. on. Let me have some ice cream. No? Huh? Please? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry. That's okay. I'll see you guys Bye. later, huh? Okay. Bye. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Nothing. You know, I really am great with kids. You, Jackie. Hey, Mikey. Hey. <laughs> Edie. Hi. Oh, hey. hey, I didn't know you knew Bob and Cynthia. Oh, yeah, we're investing with them in a health spa. With any luck, we'll lose big. <laughs> So this is Justin and Abigail, mm. huh? Oh, Justin. Could you do me an enormous favor? Sure. Could you watch my babies while I go to the little girls' room? Yeah. I'll be back before you can say... Anthropomorphism. Now, you stay here with Aunt Jackie, and I'll be right back, okay? okay. Thanks. Hello. Hello. We're not really related, are we? No. I didn't think so. Mm. What's it like having a little sister? It's a pain in the neck. But what's the alternative? Being an only child. So if you love kids, why don't you have any? Well, I guess the time just hasn't been right for us. But we're thinking about having a little baby. Hey, Mike. Did you talk to your accountant about your buying my share of the restaurant? Oh, uh, he doesn't think that's a real good idea right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm not. Look, I'll get it to editorial on Monday, okay? Hello. Yep. Oh, Cooper Jack. In case you don't know this, I don't work on weekends. Well, I know. It was probably a dumb idea to get you to the uh -huh. office, but I thought if Pearson's sister-in-law wanted to meet you, you wouldn't want to wait till Monday. You're kidding me. In fact, here's your directions. You're my hero. <laughs> Thanks, that's terrific. That is. used to be so prompt. It drove my sister batty. She finally said to him, haven't you ever heard about being fashionably late? He said there was no such thing in the underground. I guess with him on the run, you didn't get to see much of your sister, Miss Fogarty. Please call me Kate. Kate? No, I didn't see enough of her. Even if I'd seen her every day, it still wouldn't have been enough. Thank you. Beth gave up so much for that man, but she adored him. He was a wonderful husband and a terrific father. Excuse me, Miss Shea. You mm -hmm. have a telephone call. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. I'll be right. right back. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Listen, there's a good reason why I'm late. Where are you? Look out the window. Okay, is that a lemon or a lime? Playing hide and go seek with the FBI, who are uh, all over the place. I'll take your sister in law and I'll meet you later at our designated spot. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Well, for one thing, the woman at your table? That's not Kate. Hey, Jack, where are you? What are you doing? I'm trying to imagine where to put the crib. You're going to give the kid your office? Well, I have my column to worry about. Found the Pearson book. We're going to want to do little Ma's, right? Yeah. Who has time to move? What's wrong, Jack? The FBI are following me every place. It wasn't his sister-in-law at lunch. It was an agent. What did you do? I snuck out through the kitchen and went to a baby furniture store. Thought I'd relax looking at playpens. 
I did until I saw a black street car parked outside. They think you'll lead them to their fugitive. He wants to turn himself in. Why don't they just let him? Because after 14 years of looking for him, they want the win. I want. <laughs> you know what I want? The natural wood finished crib. Yeah. Like it? Yeah. And the found mobile from Betty's baby mm. land. I like it. Yeah. You got it. This one's the real cake at the designated spot. I'll be there. So will the FBI if we don't do something. You guys been here quite a while. Can I get you something? Soda, beer? No. What a nice cappuccino. No, but... All right, you change your mind, you give me a whistle, huh? should be getting the advance from the publisher later today. Usually they only give a quarter up front because they've made an exception. We're getting half the money now. And then I'll get it to you or your bank as soon as I turn myself in. Dad! What, sweetie? How will I know where you are? Well, Aunt Kate's gonna know. Will you write? Will I write? I'll write you. I'll call you. You're gonna get sick of me. Thanks to this lady, I don't think I'm going to need it. The public response to my columns has been really good for Matthew. <laughs> Once a hero, always a hero, huh, Maddie? Thanks again. Goodbye, partner. You be cool now, you hear? You will. tomorrow to, uh, as the Doris put it, uh, break on through to the other side. Pretty good. You want to just walk on quietly to the federal building? Oh, no. We need a huge press conference tomorrow afternoon. Just in time to make the six o'clock news. Really want to make a scene, huh? Hey. Might help the movie sale of the book. I'll go to work on it. Market or the baby furniture store? Careful, Miss Shea. You could be subpoenaed. For what? Loitering in the produce section? We could order you to surrender your notes on Pearson and uh, force you to appear before a grand jury. You want to waste the taxpayers' money like that? 
be my guest. Why are you letting him use you like this? Why do I get the feeling we don't see the man in the same light? Through response to your column, he's testing public opinion to see if now's the right time to come above ground. You're not buying it, huh? I mean, we're surprised that an intelligent, sophisticated person like you does. You want your future, right? I want my story. He wants to turn himself in. Why don't you guys just back off for a day? We'll all have what we want. So you think he's going to turn himself in tomorrow? I know he is. I just arranged a press conference for the man. Well, we happen to know he has other plans. Traveling plans. What is that supposed to mean? He's booked reservations under his nine favorite aliases on nine different flights tomorrow to Europe, all leaving the country at noon. This could all be a trick. He could be headed to another state by bus or train. But the $100,000 advance you got him, he's wired it to Switzerland. I don't believe it. We're going to have an agent at every gate. We may get him, we may not, but if we lose him, Miss Shay, they're going to look as foolish as we will. Boy, I really am gonna miss my freedom. If you're innocent, you won't be in jail long. If? Well, uh, are you, uh, you should pardon the expression, bailing out on me? Why? Should I be? Hey, remember? I'm gonna put you on the bestseller list. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? We got a problem. Press conference has to be at 10 a.m. That is too early. I got a lot of... Got a lot of personal things I have to wrap up. I can't reschedule a press conference. Well, then cancel it. Are you serious? Look, I have waited 14 years to do this. I'm either going to do it right or I'm not going to do it at all. Try to make it for 1 o'clock, I'll... Try to rearrange. I'll give it my best shot. Where can I reach you to confirm? I'll call you. You don't want me to know where you're staying? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, until checkout time tomorrow, you can reach me at the Harrison Hotel. They said you went home early. I wanted to stop by and bring you some lunch, something healthy. You got to start eating better now that you're eating for two. Mike. Oh, that was some major coup, you nailing Pearson, with all the press there. How much you want to bet this makes the national news? I don't care. Yeah, I know. He let you down and you believed in him. That's not why I came home. But you got his story. He tried to run out on you and you got him. Honey, I am so proud of you. Hey. I lost the page. 
baby. Oh, honey. I wanted this baby so much. Oh, I didn't even know it at first. And then the last few days, I started thinking about what it would be like to see your smile on another face. Right. Did you go to a doctor? Are you all right? Are you sure? Uh, I didn't think I was ready, but I was. No, no, you weren't. How can you say that? Because I don't... I don't think I was ready either. We both weren't, not really. And, uh, maybe... Maybe this was God's way of telling us that. Connie. At least we know now that we will be ready to be parents when the time is right. Yesterday I was on the top of the world. I had a bestseller and I was gonna have a baby. Well, now all you've got is a husband that loves you and an invitation to Wrigley Field Friday night. So what do you say? We have some beers, some, uh, some hot dogs, and we talk over our game plan for the future, huh? That sounds great. Well, what have we here? Hmm. You know, oh, everything looks perfect. You know, Jack, when we have a kid, I'm going to get us some box seats here, and I am going to cheer too loudly. And you're going to patiently explain the infield fly rule, but you know what? There's a pitch swing on there, go! We are going to have the happiest family. What do you think? I think if we're talking championship seasons, we got to start planning a team. Next, on Jack and Mike. I've been reading some articles lately about how married couples are doing variations on a theme. Love is taking care of someone till the end. Nobody has a right to take a life. If you love someone, you stand by them. We made a deal. If you're ever going to have a huge fight, we do it naked. You're saying, without a doubt, without a question in your mind, that Malcolm Travis murdered his wife without mercy. From what I've heard and seen, yes. I shouldn't want this deal to break us. Later tonight on Nightline, more Soviet diplomats have been ordered out of the U.S. The espionage links behind their ouster and how the expulsion game is played by both countries. Then join Dick Cavett and guest Joe Piscopo on the Dick Cavett Show. Friday, Sledgehammer gives bank robbers more than they bargained for. When he's taken hostage during a holdup, then Ernie's trust is tested when he sees his dad becoming a bad cop and doesn't know he's working undercover. On sidekicks, after he's an alien with a lot to learn, Robert Hayes is Starman.